guess what guys they don't have no forks or spoons or anything to serve this hopefully it don't blow up before he leaves and we're on the go there it goes see I love how they serve the plates here because you know running water is a problem in Mexico so they put the plate inside a plastic bag we're getting a quarter kilo of tortillas here hot and fresh because they're like really confused what to do but the woman ran the bathroom try to get smart said seven pesos I said nobody charges seven pesos they charge between three and five pesos peeled already in a bag hey guys welcome to Mexico we are making a road trip to Merida, Yucatan to Belize, Corozal down Belize and we are cruising in the one and only Cyber Combi our VW to get around we are cruising in the Cyber Combi check it out the one and only cyber combi who needs a cyber truck when you get a cyber combi we stopped here in the little town of well not little it's actually good size Jose Maria Morelos and we're gonna go eat some carnitas tacos we're hungry for some carnitas tacos look at the sky looks like it's gonna rain see on the post there they have outlined of Jose Maria Morelos. They have, have his profile there. This is a busy little place. Buenas tardes. Busy little place here. And we found a place across the street there. Where we're going to get a kilo of carnitas with a bunch of tortillas salsas and we're gonna eat see my cyber combi is back there we're here with the whole crew whole crew is here today where are you Maria is here sugar-free traveler where are you Maria's mother and me yours truly Doug B. Vlogs so we found this little place here Taqueria La Avenida La Avenida right there oh they're gonna have good tortillas because look they're located right next door to the tortilla factory so they're gonna be fresh fresh and nice tortillas here we are Jose Maria Morelos have you ever been here before let me know let me go look for the food see if the food is ready we're hungry it's still three a little over three hours to get to um Corzal town so we figure we're gonna eat here because we hungry we is hungry so this is the little restaurant here as you can see nothing fancy but it gets the trick done here is Juanita here is sugar free traveler coke zero? yeah coke zero for me and we're gonna get a kilo of meat and a coke zero that's a good place they have nothing but coke zero oh great this is our favorite our favorite restaurant nothing but coke zero look at that that's the way to go here comes where are you Maria hello guys are you hungry of course I am all right uh, I actually I, I I'm confused because uh, I thought I thought it would be like like afternoon but no it's no, morning it's, it's, it's only morning. 10 in the morning yeah <laughs> we got up so early yeah we started traveling yeah. at like 5 a.m. something like that yeah so it's still early so see you in a little bit look here our carnita meat is here I love how they serve the plates here because you know running water is a problem in Mexico so they put the plate inside a plastic bag and when you finish eating they just throw away this plastic bag and they don't have to wash the plate they don't have to wash the plate you just 
change a plastic bag. See, everybody's got a plastic bag on the plate. Uh, we got a big pile of meat. We're gonna show you what it looks like when we make the taco. I think I think this place has never had such a big order because they're like really confused what to do. Oh, he said he's going to the tortilla factory get fresh hot tortillas. Here we got pickled cabbage, pickled onions. We got limes. And the tortillas are gonna come fresh hot. I think I think those are not onions. Those are cabbage. Yeah, cabbage, got a little onion, got a little tomato. And he went to get the tortillas hot and fresh out of the factory. I think we're the only person that I've ever ordered like this. We ordered one kilo of meat. One whole kilo, that's 2.2 pounds for the four of us. Guess what, guys? They don't have no forks or spoons or anything to serve this. So we need to run to the van. We gotta run to the van and um, we always keep a spoon or fork in the backpack for where you where we those. But we always do that when we're traveling because it's not the first time thing this happened like this. There's, there's I'm no, always prepared. I'm always prepared, guys. No spoon or fork in the whole restaurant. Because they only sell taquitos. So we're here at the Cyber Combi. We have everything. And that's my phone. Yeah, my phone ring. Spam calls. Look at this here. We got a full house here. This joint is packed. Packed and ready for the road. Look okay, at Remember I did a video about this? Yeah. Remember I did a video about what? Where are you, Maria's having? Yeah, we usually keep a plastic spoon or fork in there. There we go. Get two of them. That way we're prepared. See? There you go. Here, hold this for a minute. Let me lock this up. So we got our two spoons. Can you imagine it's a restaurant, they don't have a spoon or a fork in there. I guess the taco meat that they have, they put on the taco by hand, everything by hand. All right, gracias. They say, we just subscribed to you. Thank you, gracias. Gracias. Here in Jose Maria Morelos. So we're back. We got a plastic fork plastic spoon oh yes 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 gonna be good one over here I make three tortillas at a time I think I could use this one meanwhile This is carnita meat. It's really, really good. It is cooked in lard. It's lard, then they chop it up fine. Let me pass this over. There you guys go. Get some of this pickled stuff here. Yeah, this is the tortillas. Yeah. A little bit of salt. I don't know if that thing's coming out of this. Yeah, it is. It is? Yeah. Then you give it a squeeze of lime. And you are ready to go. Cheers guys. Carnita tacos made right here, look. She's working on hers right there. Sugar free travelers waiting. And I'm eating. And I am 
already eat one. So good. See you in a little bit. I forgot to mention, don't forget the hot sauce on top of your taco. I always you got to put this hot sauce. My favorite is the green. Guys, we spent 420 pesos. Right now the pesos is 18.35 for one US dollar. So you can calculate it. We have leftover. We're going to take that along on the road. Let me show you Eres El Dueño. Well, see. This is the owner here. Si, si. How do you call Marcial. Marcial. Marcial ah. is the boss man. Oh, it's my. It's El Jefe. Si, pues. Si, El Jefe. And see here. Here they're cooking the meat. Actually, that's the meat that's seasoned. And then they cook it right over here. Let me see if I can sneak over and keep it. There you can see, look. Here they are cooking it up. Oh, this one is like kind of like grill, grill fried. See, and then they chop it up really fine there. It's El Chef. El Chef, okay? Hola. It's El Chef. I don't know if he's ignoring me or he can't hear me. But here he's working hard at work. Probably doesn't like it that I'm sticking my head into his kitchen. Butane tanks are here. So they don't run out. People behind me are eating and it is really good. Okay. It's coming down. Coming down. Gail. 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 Okay. Muchas gracias. Bueno, nos vemos, ya. Me gusto saludable. Sí, estamos felices que paramos aquí. Okay, de paseo. Sí, de paseo. Sí, vamos para Chetumal. A Chetumal. Sí, a Chetumal, sí. Okay. 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 Gracias. Gracias. Sí, yo tengo aquí. Muchas gracias. Al contrario, vaya bien, cuídense mucho. Gracias. Bueno, estamos full. I think it was the biggest sale that they've ever had. I think it was the biggest sale they ever had because they were like so excited. And then on top of that, we're filming it for YouTube. Yeah, first we gotta put this away. I got no more hands. We gotta go buy tortillas. Sugar free travel is yelling, but I gotta get rid of this first. So they were all excited that we're filming him put down YouTube. So we are back here at the cyber combi. We're gonna put away the food. I got my SF over park ever the port. I got my Coke Zero in my pocket. Let me unlock this thing. Then we gotta go buy some tortillas. That's next on the list. How many tortillas are we gonna get? Quarter kilo? I think quarter kilo is enough. Yeah, there's not much meat left. My camera will talk So let's go get some tortillas. I'll go get the tortillas. Let's go get some tortillas, quarter kilo. Quarter kilo is all we need. Here in Jose Maria Morelos, we're on a road trip from Merida, Yucatan to um, Corozal, Belize. So right beside the restaurant here is the tortilla factory. That way if we stop somewhere on the road, you know, a gas station for a break or something we can eat a little buenos dias i'm nacito cuarto kilo cuarto kilo
la tegma, chicos. Gracias. mi canal So I got a quarter kilo of tortillas here. That way we stop somewhere on the road, you know. And we get a little hungry. -ish. We can make a few tacos, not too many. We got a little bit of meat left. We can maybe make a nine or twelve more. They didn't even give me a plastic bag, they just wrap it in paper like that. There we go. That's the way they can, serve it. You can wrap it better? No, they don't even give you a plastic bag. Oh, yeah. Um, here, wrap it on this thing. Wrap it on this? Yeah, then good idea. Guys, so this road trip will continue now. We're going in that direction, southerly direction, south, south easterly, south easterly direction towards Corzal town. So see you in a little bit. Here from Jose Maria Morelos. We're in the state of Quintana Roo already. This is it guys, we're on the road. Say goodbye to Jose Maria Morelos. Good food. Well, we're still on the road here. We are about one hour and 42 minutes to the border. I didn't bring along the correct paperwork for the van, so we're going to leave the van parked at the border and then hitchhike into Corza Town, take care of some business there, and then take a taxi back to the border and then hitchhike over the border oh no we don't have to hitchhike here. we're gonna leave the van at the Belize border so where are you Maria she's going to buy some hey, what do you want Italia where are you Maria is gonna go buy some fruit let's go take a look let's go take a look see what I got parked here on the highway but I got on the hazards Let's see what I got. Fruits look really good. Oh, there's a little green bananas. Big mangoes. What do they call the pataya in English? Dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. Look at that. More mangoes. Look at the pineapples. Two for 50 pesos, that size, or five for 50 pesos. I think that's the little one down there, right here on the side of the street. Over there, they sell more, over there, more, over there, more. That's what everybody does here. There, you see the sign Merida Chatama. Oh, and have these here. What is this? ¿Qué es esto? ¿Qué es esto? What is this? Oh, rambutan. Lichi, rambutan. I want to get oranges also. Pretty cool, guys. 
We're cruising in the cyber combi down the road. Chetamal and Belize is in that direction. Merida and the rest of Mexico is in that direction. So let me go wait in the car while they do the shopping. Drink some Pepsi. I keep on going. See here guys, I got myself dragon fruit. Peeled already in a bag. Gonna have that while driving. And this mirror here was a little loose. It was moving with the breeze. So I tighten up that nut right there. Right there, that nut, I tighten it up. And now it's gonna be working good. So let's keep on going. We're stuck in a traffic jam now. Because of construction. Construction of the Tread Maya, the Mayan train. Been here for about 15 minutes waiting, waiting, waiting. It moves but very, very slow. Look at this mess, guys. Drivers here are pretty dirty. They just squeeze through, they don't care. This is what's been holding us up. The construction of the Tren Maya. Bottleneck. In about half an hour, not even a mile we've driven. It's crazy. Dump trucks from the construction site, they are getting into the traffic and that's why slowing is down. Okay, everybody got to stop so they can get out and get in along with heavy machinery also. The gas truck in front of me, he asked me if I would let him through because he's going to make a left hand turn to go to the gas depot. So I let him go in front of me. Hopefully he don't blow up before he leaves. And we're on the go. There he goes. Look at this. Hopefully. Hopefully we're on the right road. Yeah. Quick pit stop before we get to the border. A full gas station. Bathrooms are back there. It's five pesos bathroom. But the woman run the bathroom try to get smart said seven pesos. I said, nobody charges seven pesos. They charge between three and five pesos. Okay. They got an oxo here, so before you stop and pick up your last Coke. Before turning a little bit up the road, we're going to turn towards the Belize border. I didn't bring papers along for the van, 
so I might have to leave the van at the Belize border park and then hitchhike into Corzo Hotel. Let's see what'll happen. Just stay tuned and you'll find out. Look at this construction project, how it's going, Train Maya. Look at that. papers are brought were in order and we are now with the cyber combi Volkswagen cyber combi in Belize look at this we are in Belize at Tumbaito dead man curve we made it no problem at the border they were very very nice immigration customs very nice and I had the right paperwork to allow it into the country so I got insurance and we are here so now we'll be able to do some driving around hey guys welcome to Belize we're in Corzal town we got over the border we're drinking a carta blanca that we bought in town here and we took the cyber combi for a wash it gets all dirty so you're gonna wash it it's gonna get shined up the cyber combi the cyber combi is in Belize see the guys are starting to work on it gonna get it looking like new welcome to Corzal town keep following this vlog gonna show you what it's like when it's done it'll be nice and shiny look at this we got an ice box full of Carta Blanca beer life in Belize it's good no way can complain I gotta go like this so the light can see me good. See you in a little bit.